Harry appeared on several US TV outlets ahead of the release of his memoir Spare last month. He was all in for hosting a late night US TV show before talks stalled last minute, a report has claimed. The 38 year old was said to have been locked in negotiations to host Saturday Night Live last year. I know that Harry was all in, he was really serious about doing it, and it would have been great fun as promo for the book, a TV source told Page Six. SNL producers have been after Harry for a while now. Everyone on the show was really into the idea and people would definitely have tuned in. Another industry insider added, There's always lots of names in the mix, but Harry was definitely a name being discussed. It hasn't been confirmed why the father of two couldn't reach an agreement with SNL. Probably Meghan wanted to be included, but SNL said no. However, Harry sat down for the interviews on other US networks, including CBS with Anderson Cooper and Stephen Colbert. SNL executive producer Lorna Michaels is said to still want the Duke of Sussex to appear on the show. An insider said, I could also see Harry coming on as a surprise in a sketch. SNL has a long history of mocking the royal family, with Fred Armisen often playing the late Queen Elizabeth as a cockney mob boss. Bill Hader also regularly played Prince Philip, Harry's grandfather, while Martin Short appeared in a 2012 sketch to mimic the Princess of Wales' first OBGYN appointment. Anna Hathaway performed as Kate Middleton during the skit, with the show poking fun at Harry and the Royals again. James Austin Anderson and Devon Walker played two British rappers and former Eton schoolmates who they dubbed Millie Pounds and Shirty. They were asked to give an update on the royal family and replied, Right, right, okay, listen mate. Okay, all the focus is on the royals when it should be on Britain's exploitative tabloid press. It's pants mate, rubbish mate. Johnson added, They're mean to our boy Harry, alright? We know what really goes down. We've known Harry since our days at Eton. Austin then began to rap. Prince Harry, Prince Harry stayed over at Tyler Perry's. Press cold like Ben and Jerry's, I'm allergic to dairy. Walker is shirty continued. Harry and Meghan, Ronald Reagan, international dating. Queen said not today, Satan. Recently, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were the top of the jokes in conversation on Saturday as Steve Martin and Martin Short returned to co-host Saturday Night Live. The comedic duo have been the hosts of the famous Saturday Night Television show in America on multiple occasions before with Martin having hosted 16 times. The comedians compared themselves to Harry and Meghan as Short said, no one is rooting for us, but you'll tune in to watch anyway. The monarchy has allegedly been up in arms over Harry's memoir and a multitude of interviews, but Princess Diana and King Charles' youngest son hinted his family should be grateful that he didn't air even more of their dirty laundry. It could have been two books, put it that way, he admitted to the Telegraph in a January interview revealing the original draft of his book was 800 pages. The hard bit was taking things out. Look, anything I'm going to include about any of my family members, I'm going to get trashed for. I knew that walking in, but it's impossible to tell my story without them in it because they play such a crucial part. Harry elaborated, but there are some things that have happened, especially between me and my brother, and to some extent between me and my father that I just don't want the world to know about. 